fun conversation that's uh, happening right now. A follower of mine, he sent this to me, says the gatekeeping that a lot of people seem to be for is actually a form of political persecution. And of course, I'd agree with that. I think what you've seen, especially in the mainstream, is exactly that, that political persecution aspect. I mean, you can make the argument that's why a guy like Chuck Dixon for myself was available. Same can go for Mike Barron. There's like, it's almost like a blacklist, right? Where the mainstream entertainment industries have dictated that there is a certain political position and social positions that you either have to have, or if you have them to the alternative of that, you, if you publicly display them, you get in trouble. So I guess you could have them, but you couldn't say anything and you kind of got to play the game. So political persecution, I think, applies in that aspect of, of gatekeeping. But the fun conversation I think is worth having is, you know, gatekeeping as an idea. And I don't think that it is like universal, right? As if it's like objectively bad. Two years ago, I think I did a video on this topic. And I remember I was talking to you guys about how I came around to my position on that like gatekeeping fandoms and what that what that means. And that's where, again, I think that the gatekeeping aspect is useful. And I'd argue that it's important. Now, you can look at it at a more micro, I guess, level of like my business. Right. You know, in order for me to protect it, there has to be a set of rules. OK. And it's not necessarily you know, it's not even political or social, but there's a set of rules, sort of standards. We have our code of ethics that is public facing, especially at the customer seat. We also have how we do it creatively. So anybody that's brought on has to respect that vision, respect the customers and anybody that uh, obviously I wouldn't bring anybody on that knowingly would violate, let's say, those ideas. And I also uh, it, it, we have those rules in place for a reason, because let's say someone did get lucky to the point to where um, they were in the company and they did something that's antithetical to, again, the rules it is that we've set in our, in our values. Then, yeah, they, they they be out of there. And however, with that. So that's a form of gatekeeping, but that's logical. Right. Do you think any business owner would approach it that way? And I think the same thing can be said for fandoms. It's like you have people that because I think some people look at just in a general statement like gatekeeping as well. Nobody knew can be let in. And I don't think most people are even using that term operating as if that's the case. At least you shouldn't, because the way that I see it, if someone you, if someone does not want to, let's say, change it, they are genuinely interested in, let's say, a fandom like a property, whatever it is for what it is already and they want to now become fans of it people are going to welcome them with open arms the issues and often what you've seen happen in the recent years is that you get those that want to then change it right so it's about hey maybe this thing is pretty it's popular i now want this to be for myself maybe it comes with a level of influence and i want that so we have to now go change that hell I think that's what's happened with the entire uh, entertainment industry or like, I mean, for gaming movies we see in Hollywood, they are now welcoming these people in and they're telling you, they're telling them to change it. We just had a video that we discussed with Sweet Baby Inc. That's their whole mission. Like they, they don't really hide it and the companies are bringing them in to then implement that. Some of these DEI and these programs, DIE is die really. And you get all these programs and they that they, that these companies want to have built you know you're, you're fundamentally changing what got you maybe to that point and that is something that you absolutely have to protect yourself from it's a difference between welcoming people with open arms that actually are interested in it for what it is versus those that want to then change it and make it about them though that's more uh of uh, 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 maybe an infestation but it's really just trying to leech off of it so you know, the subject of gatekeeping is interesting because, like I said, if you look at it from that level, again, it's broadening the term. But if you do look at it at that level, like I discussed a couple of years ago, it's it's necessary. It's 100 percent necessary, especially if you're a business owner. It's necessary. 
Now, it's that's different from just complete political persecution. And because someone thinks, let's say, differently on a particular subject um, of like the politics or whatever, then you just they can't exist among you. So, see, that's a different animal. And uh, people aren't fond of that, of course, and rightfully so.